We continue to celebrate black history and tonight we focus on a man from the region who served America with honor and distinction. Charles Petty Sr. flew high in the sky overseas at a time when there was plenty of uncertainty back in the States. The mural that's been done on the wall we're going to represent for Black History Month is my Uncle Charles Petty. If you drive along north of 6th Street in Harrisburg, you will see a mural of Charles Petty Sr. He's one of the country's first African-American military aviators. But Mr. Petty served with a very illustrious group called the Tuskegee Airmen. Petty was from the region and many of his relatives were part of the mural celebration. To our father, grandfather, uncle, and friend. Tuskegee Airmen served during World War II while blacks in some states were still fighting against Jim Crow laws. It's just about their service in America, even during a time when it was segregated. And in spite of all those obstacles, they excelled. Brian Hickman is the artist. He started the project last summer. Putting black energy back into a community that definitely needs it. Brian had some challenges along the way. It was definitely uh, an experience to have. It was very hot out here, but uh, it was rewarding nonetheless. Hickman finished the mural in October and is now part of the Uptown Harrisburg experience. Black excellence being celebrated, and that's one thing that I advocate for um, on, on a regular. Historian Brian Wade says Charles Petty's story is one of many. And there are other groups like the Montfort Point Marines. They served in military segregated units, but yet they served with, they served with valor. Hickman says despite the long days, it was time well spent and his most memorable moments were not planned. During my mural journey, uh, I had kids come up and didn't even know who I was painting. So the fact that I could use art to teach history, it was beautiful. Art to teach history, I like that. Right, you know, and they've been working on that. Well, the artist has been working on that since the summer. And uh, they finally celebrated the completion of the project. So it's going to be a part of Uptown Harrisburg for years to come.